Hello, you cool cats, and welcome back to another episode of Persona Q2. Um, we're about to meet the Persona 3 female protag. <laughs> Who's that girl? She's getting attacked by shadows. Isn't that a Persona? Who could she be? Maybe she's the girl Theodore had mentioned to us. If I recall correctly, he's looking for a high schooler, a female who wears headphones. All the details he provided us match up. If that's the case, then let's help her out! Come on, everyone! I like this song. Hmm? Um... Default voice. Whoa, reinforcements? They look strong, too! Oh no, we ain't your enemy! You're friends with Theodore, right? Huh? You know Theo? We'll explain later. Let's go, Joker. We gotta get rid of that guy in the back. Him off. We'll dia him so that he doesn't die. Okay, that's the best thing that could have happened, honestly. Yo, is it just me, or does it feel like our attacks ain't doing jack to the shadow? It does! Something feels off about it, Stana, too! If regular attacks will work, then perhaps we could go about this another way. Ooh! You're pretty... That's a pretty good idea coming from you, Inari! I'll keep analyzing it, so please be sure to try different stuff like status ailments, too! I don't think sleep does all that much. Oh, 
think poison does a good amount though. No, miss. Try that poison again. Somebody to land a crit. Changed color. I believe I saw something shatter around it as well. I got it. Looks like the one that one was protected by a resistance barrier until now. A barrier? No wonder it felt like our attacks weren't doing much. Seems the barrier can be destroyed if it's damaged enough. That would mean now's our opportunity. Let's go all out. Some shadows have a special barrier known as the affinity barrier. When it's affinity barrier is up, a shadow is resistant. When its affinity barrier is up, a shadow is resistant to your attack's affinities. However, if you deal enough damage or meet certain other conditions, the barrier will deactivate, so the shadow's resistance will change. When the affinity barrier is deactivated, the shadow will visibly change. This will also be reflected in the shadow's data if you analyze it. Aha! That in. It is getting critted. Every attack is crit. <laughs> nice amount of XP, too. Yeah, I'm saying thanks. Um, could you be persona users too? Well, so Timo, not Jimmy Titana. Yeah, looks like the same goes for you. What it does, you know, can you? To think there are additional persona users here. 
I sense a mysterious fate linking us. I was surprised too. You have such elaborate masks on that I thought you were more enemies at first. <laughs> yeah, I guess these do look pretty weird from other people's perspectives. They're very stylish, actually. This is gonna be weird. I'm also responding in my own way. Whatever, we'll deal with it. It's not like Joker talks that much. Yeah, I agree. I think they're full of personality. Oh yeah, something you said about a moment ago? You know Theo? That's right, although we only met him quite recently, so we don't know him well, per se. I see, I'm glad Theo is safe. We suddenly got separated, so I'd grown worried about him. Likewise, he seemed worried about you. I hope you'll be reunited with him soon. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is... Her name. Yep. It's nice to meet you all. Oh, Koko de Autonomo, Nanika no Enda. Yoroshkutan. Some sort of fate must have led our paths to cross. It's a pleasure meeting you as well. So, didn't so, um, there's something I've been curious about since I first saw you all. <laughs> it's not just your masks, but all of your outfits, they kind of make me think of Phantom Thieves. Oh, shit. Oh shit, this is bad. Did she figure out who we are? Shotai? Who you are? Baka skull. Bukitsu Skull, you moron! Stop digging our graves! This isn't good. How should we explain our attire? These are our uniforms for work. So, your jobs are to cosplay as Phantom Thieves? Or you're all thieves that were hired to cosplay? Um, yeah, don't think too much about it. Phantom Thieves are big right now, so we just kind of went with the flow or some crap. <laughs> Don't call our cover crap. Oh, really? I don't. I don't totally get it, but it sounds fun. Could you possibly be unaware of the Phantom Thieves? Huh? No way! It's been all over the news and internet every day lately! You really haven't heard of the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? Sorry, no clue. I watch the news pretty regularly, too. Wait, 
Whoa, she really doesn't know. Maybe the Phantom Thieves aren't nationally famous yet? The news can differ based on prefecture, but even still. Well, doesn't this work only to our convenience? I believe that we should prioritize escaping from here at the moment anyway. Alright, the citizens we hid from were likely referring to her when they were talking about another criminal. If that's the case, we shouldn't chat here any longer. We should go back to the theater where it's safer. Theater? I'm sorry, I have no idea where one is around here. Looks like we know more than what she does about what's going on right now. Oh, the cat talked! I'm not a cat! And now you're reacting to this? They were fighting next to each other just a second ago! Oh, you're... yeah, you're right. So he's a Persona user too, I'm guessing. That's right. That may be the case with Morgana, but shouldn't we explain ourselves as well? We're all Persona users. I'm certain she'll understand our circumstances. Let's get out of this movie first. We can talk about it while we return to the theater. I agree. We should reunite her with Theodore as soon as possible. If you can take me to Theo, then please let me join you. Then it's decided. Let's get back to the theater. This is the movie theater? I never would have imagined that world could be connected to a place like this. Yeah, we freaked out at first too. Actually, we're still having a hard time believing it. Welcome, Miss Arisa. I am Nagi, the curator here. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Mina Arisa. Everyone told me a bit about this theater before we got here. I have been watching everything from here. I'm relieved to see that you're not hurt. Yokata. Gobujitata no desne. Mina, thank goodness you're all right. Oh, Theo! I'm so sorry I worried you. Everyone here helped me find you. Please allow me to express my gratitude to you as well. Thank you so much for saving my precious guest. Uh... We just do what's right. Yeah, what he said. We'd never ditch somebody in trouble. My, your kind consideration is greatly appreciated. 
So, I'd like to ask something. How are you two affiliated? Hmm, it's kind of hard to explain. I guess he's someone that I've been indebted to for some time now? Well, that's vague, but it's not like I'd understand a more complicated explanation. Wait, what in the world? Hey guys, your clothes! Oh, our clothes. So they do return to normal as we expected. Return? Do your clothes transform into those cool outfits from earlier? Uh, it's a long story, but basically, it's like a special feature we have? Wow, that's amazing, so cool. Hey, you know what? We haven't introduced ourselves properly yet. Oh yeah, well, let's cover everything so we can all share what we know so far. Phantom thieves that steal hearts and cognitive worlds. I had no idea. From what I've heard, we can both use personas, but the rules behind it seem pretty different. Your clothes don't change at all, huh, Amina? Even though you use personas too? Whoa! Y you're the girl from the movie! Oh, hey, Futaba, you finally turned up! You're the girl who's acting as navigator for everybody, right? Thank you for rescuing me earlier. I, I, I didn't do anything in particular. Oh, sorry about that. She's a bit shy around strangers. It's okay. Everyone's a bit nervous in the beginning. Nice to meet you, Futaba-chan. Um, right. Oh, Futaba-chan, those headphones! They're so cool! Are you a music lover too? Whoa! You can tell how good these are? No one else has ever commented on them. Mina, Arisa, could she be a fan of stuff like that? She might be an otaku. Oh, audio maniaca. Oh, so she's an audio geek. I want to have a heart to heart with her about it. Oh, yeah, Theo, what about the other members of Cease? Have you seen Yukari or Junpei? I cannot say for certain at this moment, but the possibility is quite high that they are here as well, somewhere. After all, Akio has come to this world with his own companions in tow. I see. 
Hey, you guys are trying to rescue your friends trapped inside the movie, right? You know it, they're our treasured accomplices. I thought so. If there's even the slightest possibility my companions are here, I want to look for them. So I've made my mind up. Let me come with you. I hope you look for your own friends, too. Oh, that would be great. You'd be a priceless addition to the team. Well, I'm all for her joining us. What do you say? We'll make a great team. Thanks, Akio-kun. I hope we'll all get along well. Same here. Don't worry, if we search together, I'm sure we'll find your companions in no time. Thanks, Takamaki-san. Call me Anne. Plus, I've reached my wit's end being surrounded by all these grungy guys. Hey, who are you calling grungy? And you're Hikari-chan. Everyone told me about you. Would it be okay for me to stay here, too? Huh? Oh, yes. Thank you. Wow! I swear the new girl's social skills are maxed out. Yes, I sense an outgoing vibe from her that's rather rare. Do you think Hikaru would be okay, Futaba? Why are you asking me? Well, you know, you and Hikari are both... Both pretty shy. Well, hey, I'm not that shy. But she reminds me of how I was only a little while ago. It makes my heart hurt a bit. I see. But look at you now, Futaba. You're able to talk to the rest of us like this. I'm sure Hikari will eventually open up too. Yeah. Well then, why don't we give Arisa-san a quick tour of this movie theater? While we do that, I'm sure we'll have the opportunity to make use of our facilities. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of facilities, I'd like to show you all a little something. Oh, what's that? It said that a picture is worth a thousand words. Now please, follow me. Is this a concession stand? Welcome everyone! Oh, 
I have been waiting for your arrival so fervently that my eyes began to budge from my skull, like those of our master. They don't seem to be protruding any more than usual, though. Nevertheless, sister, please greet my guest first. Ah, how incredibly rude of me! Elizabeth to Moshimas. Show no toto, Teodoa no ane de gozaimas. My name is Elizabeth. I am Theodore's older sister. Anata Samano Kotoa, Tsune Tsune Teo Yori Ukaga Teorimas. Theo has spoken nothing but glowing praise of you, Mina. Hajimemaste, Elizabeth Sano Kotoa, Mina Karakitimas. It's nice to meet you too. I've heard about you from everyone else. Sore Nishtemo, Teo ni one san by Tanante. Still, I'm a bit surprised to find out you have an older sister, Theo. My sister Elizabeth is a tad, no, quite naive in certain respects. I suspect she may cause you trouble, but I hope that you manage to get along with her regardless. My motto is to do as I please, wherever the wind may blow. Did you also come here with Theo, Elizabeth? Yes, it all happened in the blink of an eye. When I came to, Theo and I were here. Our master was not present, but we were certainly within the velvet room when it happened. Despite this, all of a sudden, it connected with this theater and even changed its shape. The Velvet Room is a place inseparable from our guests' fates. There is a strict rule that nothing meaningless happens within it. In other words, there's a meaning as to why we came here. And that meaning is... That answer will need to be discovered by yourselves. Still, we have no intention to merely sit back and watch what develops. To aid you all in your journey, I have forced Theo to prepare a shop for you here. Oh, don't mind if I do. One moment, please. There's one final touch that must be first made. Sister, I believe that all the preparations have been completed. This is all somewhat lackluster for the grand opening of a shop. A proper grand opening ritual should be exciting with bangs and booms. Of course, I knew that. We must rouse our spirits with a bang and boisterously begin commerce with a boom. Yes, and for that, we must add our final touch. 
Theo, come with me for a moment. Elizabeth dragged Theodore away by his hand. Elizabeth was so worked up, I couldn't get in a word. I hope Theo will be okay. Oh, looks like they're back! We apologize for the delay. Theo! Sister, is this truly the attire necessary for a grand opening such as this? Theo, can you feel it? The curious elation that's mingling with your deep, rich embarrassment. That feeling is crucial to the grand opening ritual. This costume is for expressing your hospitality. Dear me, now that you mention it, I do feel as if my heart is being uplifted. Oh my, even my balloon holding arm beckons me to the heavens. Should I bother pointing out how wrong they are? Just forget it. If you start now, there will be no end of it to it. An airhead and her put-upon brother. This comedy sketch sorely needs a straight man. Well then, everyone, I'll be acting as your vendor here at this concession stand. Not only will I be selling the current merchandise, but I will continually add new stock as well. New stock? How will you receive shipments in our current situation? I will process the materials that you acquire within the movie into new merchandise. And I will do so using this popcorn maker. Wait, what? What is this? What is this? Allow me to demonstrate. For this occasion, I have already prepared the requisite materials. I'll simply put them in the popcorn maker, then flip the switch. ねっ、簡単でしょ? There you have it. A brand new weapon. See? Wasn't that easy? But how? I don't even know where to be where to start with this nonsense. Popcorn is made by roasting corn kernels and making their internal contents expand. In other words, it's the manifestation of a kernel's hidden possibility. Thus, this miraculous metamorphosis is attainable only through a popcorn maker. He somehow made that work! If there are any necessary materials missing, I will notify you as such. However, 
However, I will also indicate what you lack based on the materials you brought back with you. I hope you understand. So if we want to learn what's still missing in a recipe, we need to possess at least one of the item's components. You mentioned that you're selling them, yes? Even though you claim to be providing us assistance. Everything has a price. That's how the world works, and such providences shan't change. Please, inscribe that to your memory. I've taken over the duties here for Miss Nagi, so please continue your patronage of this stand. If there are any materials that you've already sold here, I'll now add new stock made from those. Well, now we've got a shop and some more companions. Looks like it's time for us to go bust our asses. Once we get prepped in the theater, let's head back into the movie. I'm worried about Makoto and Haru. The movie, new scenes appeared after everyone showed up. Is it... is it going to keep changing? All we can do now is believe in them and watch what happens. I wonder what kind of movie will this turn out to be? Hey, inmate! You seem to be down in the dumps. How are things faring? It's going well so far. I haven't died yet. <laughs> Hearing that makes all of our preparations worth their efforts. <laughs> We've got good news for you. We're now ready to perform Persona Fusions. Now, get to the Velvet Room. And they're off. Well, I guess we ought to follow them. Everyone seems to be present and accounted for. So what is this Persona Fusion you speak of? Oh, you don't know about it, do you? <laughs> I do. Theo does it for me pretty often. What's this? A new face? Masaka. This feeling, could it be? It's the same power of the wild card as our prisoners. The one we sensed when we arrived. Nani? Impossible! Two with the power of the wild card? It may not just be the two, either. For all we know, there could be. Um, what's this about me? Yeah. No, it's nothing. We were discussing persona fusions, yes? Just as it sounds, this is the act of merging together personas. These fused personas will be reborn as a new persona. You can choose which personas to fuse yourself, or we can prefer perform a result-based fusion. He will show you the persona to be formed, and all you have to do is make your selection from the list. Oh. So, we can get new personas, huh? Looks like we're finally gaining an advantage here. If we keep doing these fusions, can we make super strong ones? No. To wield per powerful personas, potential users must reach a level of power befitting them. Tsumari. In other words, we need to train ourselves as well. Differences in power may arise due to your individual training regimens, but there's no cause for concern. The upper limit of a persona's power will be based on the strongest one amongst you all. At the same time, if you're all weak, you'll only be able to utilize weak personas. 
Apparently, only two personas can be used in your fusions. But, soon you will have access to special fusions, wherein we fuse three or more personas. Also, we will be accepting requests to resummon any previously obtained personas. However, every resummoning will come at a price. Give and take remains the law of the land here. That concludes our list of offered duties. Did you get all that? Nah. Well, I definitely heard you, but it sure doesn't feel like I get it. Then learn how it works firsthand. We're ready at any time. Nee, nee. This is a bit different from the way I'm used to doing it, but why don't we give it a try? Ah, that reminds me. I picked up this shining film earlier when I was fighting shadows. Oh, hey, that's what we need for taking on a new sub-persona. Looks like there are already personas on this film. You can have them if you want. Receive persona, one from Mina Arisa. Also, with the addition of a new companion with the power of the wild card, your persona stock count has increased to ten. New member! You can perform Persona Fusion where you fuse multiple Personas together into summon new ones. You will lose. If you've played a Persona game, you already know what this all is. <laughs> I don't need to explain this. Um, it's, it's basically everything that you know from the original Persona games. So, over here we can register them. So I'm going to go ahead and register. So in case I ever, like, fuse them, I don't lose them. Um... I could do a Persona Fusion. Um, I really don't really want to at the moment. I could make Hecate. 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 